But then I found out you're a celebrity to me because you met Michael. So tell me how you met Michael. Um, we were downtown. He had an autograph signing um, at Virgin Mega Store, and it was a bunch of fans. We went inside and he signed an Invincible album. He signed it for us. So that's how I met him. I think you are one of the luckiest people amongst this crowd because a lot of us cannot say we met Michael. Yeah. So yeah, I'm honored. I am honored. Gadget Trish is honored. <laughs> He's one of the last remaining icons and he revolutionized music business. No one cares him. Now where are you coming from? Maryland. But why do I love Michael? Oh God. I saw Michael when I was 14. Not in person. But when he first hit the scene as a child. He hit that scene like a meteor or a star just coming from another universe. And he had the most glowing light and charisma. He was a magical child. He was an indigo child, a magical child, whatever you want to call him. There was something that was so unique and special about Michael and so endearing. Just so endearing. The reason why I love Michael Jackson so much is because he's like my family. He's family. He's not just fans. He's just my family. Straight up since he's little, all the way up to his grown man. You know what I'm saying? I was there. I always wanted to be around him. Just like Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson. Those are only two I wanted to stick by. And I don't know if I drink. But I finally get my way to be here with the group. So I love Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson and the whole family. So 
God bless you. For some reason, he was able to let you feel like he was your man, your lover, your husband, your brother, your big, you know, whatever, and without even knowing. You. So I think that maybe that's why. Yeah, we feel connected. We yeah. certainly feel connected. That's yeah. what makes him so unique. Yeah. Like, what artist makes you feel like that's your relative or your man or whatever? He's the king of pop. There will not be no Neo, no Chris Brown, no Rihanna, no John Legend. Because they, they, they did, they learned it from the man himself, you know? It wasn't for Michael Jackson. Like I said, there will not be those R&B, not even Usher, doing the move or the robot, or the, you know, Shimon, even Chris Tucker. You know me, man. Besides that, but you know, like I said, rest in, you know, rest in peace to the King of Pop, you know? All you've got to do is walk out Okay, you gotta tell me why you love Michael so much. Break it down, brother. So you know you gotta do a dance step. This is for you two.